Hello world. Hello. It's me, Chris from Dad RC Hangar. I'm in lockdown. I'm okay, I promise. Sorry, zoned out then. Hi, and welcome. Or did I just say that? I don't know. But we're back for another video and we're back for an unboxing. Um, let's get to it before I lose me marbles. Hi and welcome back. Okay, we're not going to talk about the V word or the 19 or COVID or whatever else. Yes, it's terrible what's going on in the world and my heart is to, out to everybody on the planet. It really is. If you don't watch this, then tell someone that I said that I hope they're okay. Um, you know, in this country, we have a thing called the NHS that looks after us uh, when we're sick. They are busting at the seams and they are pulling all day as all night as all weeks or whatever's I mean you guys are the best thank you and I hope that uh, well I hope I don't get ill but if I do I hope that uh, you're together enough to, to make me better again but anyway you know we can I'll do a video about that sort of thing and and thank you and all that sort of thing because I've got another announcement to make as well about um, um, a website um, that, uh, that I've done now that has a forum and I didn't really want to announce it on here, but I just have. But okay, you know, if uh, if you go to dadsrchangar.co.uk, um, there is a forum that I'm slowly building together. Just join, um, you know, so you can leave some, uh, you know, you can, you know, say bad things, how crap I am, or you can say good things, how much you enjoy my videos, and give some input. Um, basically, because I, you know, I'm meant to be building stuff. I've got tons of stuff to build. And on uh, on the, my FPV plane, I've come with a little hitch, and it's like, well, who do I ask? You know, um, especially in lockdown, and the, the, the you know, so the forum's the best thing. So why don't you pop along? Um, you should see a little now something a little you know www dot. I see if I can put one in card things. Obviously, that's in when I finish the video. So anyway, anyway, so. What have I got in this big white box? Yes, I am not sponsored by Motion RC. I've just bought the plane of Motion RC because they are such good people and they give you good planes. Um, you know, they come intact and everything else. Now, the pretty random thing is they send you a white box. Now, this was in a brown box, um, but I decided to get rid of the brown box because I was having a bit of a clean up where you're kind of on lockdown, you do all the polishing and cleaning and everything else you can do because you can't get out and fly. Um, it's a white box. <laughs> I thought, oh, let me just look at the picture for a few days. My brother said to me, hi Nick, by the way. Um, he, he said to me, he goes, Chris, how can you not open the box? How can you have it sitting in your hanger? I'd have to open it and have a peek. Well, I don't. Um, it's kind of like, it's almost like, you know, you, you when you're a young kid, because I probably still am a kid, you know, even though I'm an old fart, I suppose. I've got the brain of a 10 year old. Um, it's like a Christmas present. You know it's there and you can't. And you, you know, it's that, oh yeah. And that's why I like it. I, I tease myself, I guess. Um, but, you know, I shouldn't be buying any more planes because I haven't got the room apart from one space. It's just up there that you can't see at the moment. And I wanted to carry on with uh, my Warbird collection. I love the Warbirds, great fan. I mean, I think that, you know, in times of, of sadness where the world wants to beat each other up, we produce the most bestest things. Um, I'm sure all this stuff that's going on, there'd be great things also invented and brought out that probably wouldn't have done. So, but hey, the good thing is it's sunny in the UK. It has been for the last week. Um, so I should have opened the window really because I am now sweating and, and the planes hit me on head. Anyway, further ado, we have got a Mustang. We have got the old crow. So, Let's get my knife, which is handy, right next to me with my little box that we made. And let's just cut open the uh, the, the, the little sellotape, that's the word I'm looking for. So if you are on uh, lockdown and you're at home, I hope that, you know, that uh, you, you're enjoying yourself as much as you can, you know, being creative or watching silly videos like this with me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna open the box. So exciting. It is rather a big box. It's a big plane. I was hoping for the specs on this so I could read them to you. But anyway, so I'm gonna probably blind you now. Whoa, it's a big box. Oh, hit the plane. It is really getting really getting too 
grounded in here. <sighs> Freewing P51 Mustang user manual. Look at that, a Bible. <sighs> you know, look at this. Does it say what uh, number it is? No, it's just a, a sticker, I suppose. 18W50, who knows what that means. It's got uh, 1 meter 410 wingspan. That's 55 inch wingspan. She's a big girl. Not a massive girl, but a big girl. Now it's got on here, it's got on, on the paper, I'm getting this, this stuff on me. It's got scale engine sound system. Now I didn't know that you could buy it with a system, an engine sounding system, which I'm really annoyed at myself um, because um, that would have been so cool, really would. But uh, on the brown box, um, which I haven't got anymore, it did say without sound system. So presumably you can get a sound system, so <laughs> we've got to get one. So let's have a quick through the Bible. It's got a lot of funky stuff. It's so sexy. I'm not going to go into it, it's, but it's uh, it's got like you know updated LEDs. This must be a, an add-in for bits and pieces. But you know we'll go through the build. <laughs> Did you know in here they've got P51 Iron Ass? I mean really Iron Ass. But it's the old crow. My wife maiden name was Crow, and I said I bought this plane for her. It's the old crow. <laughs> Shh, don't tell me that. Right, okay. Anyway, let's further ado, let's let's uh where have I put my niff? I know where my whiff, but where's my niff? Yeah, it says on the actually here, it says old crow PNP no sound system. So I didn't see that on the actual website, so I'll probably have a moan at uh, at uh, Motion RC and say, hey, what's going on? I didn't see that in the in the description, but they might not have had it anymore. Well, I can always speak to Freewing. So, anyway, we have got in this one we've got a lovely huge spinner. New spinner with a nice little red, a red and yellow scheme on there. Hello. Honestly, I haven't lost the plot in lockdown just yet. Whoop, whoop. Anyway. Let's cut it open. What we got in here? Ah, oh, we got we got pockets. I like pockets. We got King Boxer. Probably some glue, I would have thought. Nothing in that box. Nothing in that box. Nothing in that box. That box probably have a sound system in, maybe. Okay, we got over here. We got a couple of spars. Uh, carbon spars. Carbon rods. Not uh, massive ones, but I would have thought they would be used for uh, chopsticks. I used to be able to do this. Oh, look at that. Look. Eating planes. Mm -mm. Right, so. Yes. Let's get this on. Off. Do I want to get it on? Of course I don't want to get it on. I want to get it off. This is that, this is that dodgy foam that gets everywhere. The other one that sort of like... <laughs> It's in your bean bags, you know, bean bags, you know, you sit on, you open them up, got them, they just stick all over you. Mad. So, yeah. So, I suppose they don't put the pictures on the back white box. Maybe save money. Who knows? I don't know. So, that's that. <sighs> Free wing makes some sexy, sexy, sexy blades. God damn. Look at this for a wing, man. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, oh, that just. Oh, damn. Let's get it out of the wrapper. That is a sexy wing. Almost as big as these wings. I think I might have made a mistake in the, how big it was. Whatever. Hang on, this knife's gone a bit blunted. It's ever such a word. Oh, well, there we go. So, look at this. Look at this. It's just obviously one of the rings. Look at that. We got we got guns on the front. We got LEDs at the end. Pre-installed 
metal landing gear, flaps, ailerons. This is awesome. This is actually painted. The, the, some, the, I thought that was a decal that's the black mark, but it's actually painted on. The red and black are actually painted. Okay, there, there's the two spars. Looks like you've got uh, timed flaps or something. We'll have a look at those when we build it. Got landing gear, doors, LEDs, ailerons, flaps. All sticking out. It's just all cable still, which is fine. So, I mean, this would probably. I don't know if I can have it so I can have the wings not attached. We'll take a bit of jigging about in the hangar. But this, the foam's lovely. It really is. You've got the little rivets. I mean, we had to take you for the Tiger Cat <coughs> on a video, which I haven't seen. I think this was from actually from FMS. And all the rivets on here are just phenomenal. But they've got some nice rivets. It's not bad, the actual foam itself. It's not the smoothest that, that comes out these days. Still a bit crocodile, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Honestly, you know, I mean, can you imagine if you had a scale one, a real one that you're putting together? I mean, obviously, I wouldn't be able to lift the wing, that'd be pretty silly. But how exciting would that be? How exciting would that be? Right, okay, we've got to think about this because I haven't got. Oh, the dog wants to join in. Yep, the dog thinks it's great as well. That is dog bark language for I think that's great. I can speak dog. <laughs> it's a rough language. Okay, so now we have got the other wing, which is all lovely intact. Looks just as cool, looks just as good, all pre-installed. Um, all pre-installed um, push rods and all them funky words that I forget what they're called, but you know what I mean. Oh, stickers coming off a bit there. It's probably just attached to the plastic. Probably stick that down. It's just the sticker that they cover, I presume, for the cabling. It's like a cable. Just to, to, that's, that's not a big deal. I mean, that's really no big deal. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge plate. Nearly 60 inches wingspan. Uh, okay, it's this beautiful free wing double double stack, which I think is really cool. A bit of sticky there, and there's a bit of sticky there, and he's cutting through the polystyrene. I really got to get these planes in the air. No time soon, unfortunately. So let's uh, stick that down there. <laughs> I just love looking at new fuselages. I mean, this one uh, I've wanted uh, this this plane. I mean, I haven't got the Spitfire this size. Or have I? It might be. I don't think the Spitfire up there is 55 inches. That was one of my first planes that obviously I've done before I've done a YouTube edition. So look at this. Look at this size of a prop. I actually believe that this is a 16 by 10 E. What the E means, I don't know, but we'll find out. For some reason in my head, I actually thought it was a three prop. Plop, plop, <laughs> three plop, three a propeller, you know, the, the tri propeller, like these. I thought that was that one, but yeah, I don't know why I thought that. But look at the size of that prop. That's a big girl. I mean, I'd love it if I could use that with wood and one. That would be nicer, wouldn't it? But uh, I'm going to have to, uh, uh, probably have to change it for my uh, uh, favourite. In fact, have I got this prop? I don't know. Master Air Screw though, I'm going to change that because the Master Air Screw props are awesome. Once again, not sponsored by Master Air Screw. <laughs> Lovely propeller. Awesome. Okay, what have we got in here? We have got the horizontal stabiliser. Horizontal vertical. Horizontal, I can never get that right. Horizontal stabiliser with your ailerons. No elevators. Since when they put ailerons at the back. Tail elevators. Idiot. 
Look at this, this is lovely. Okay, they have they haven't pre-installed everything in here, but it's okay. Hinges. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Didn't look at the wings actually. I normally that's the first thing I look at, mainly because it's got the servos on. But they have got two hinges. Uh, you know, if you can just see them either side. Beautiful hinges. Oh, look at that. They got, oh, lovely hinges. Absolutely lovely hinges. Oh, butter. Butter. So we've got some uh, ball joints, which are brilliant. Better than screws. Um, looks like, uh, obviously, the... the um, the elevators will work off the uh, body hole of thought, which is, you can see on the back of the fuse large, you've got the two rods there. Once again, sprayed, not decals. You know, Free Wing do a fantastic job with their spray, and they really, really do. It's a really, really good spray job. You know, I mean, some of the, some of the foam is really shiny. Excuse me, not crocodile skin, but I'm being fussy, aren't I? But then again, you know, it wasn't the cheapest planes. You got to, you know, expect something for your buck, but it's big. I mean, I've been looking at a site that does, well, I think it's 1.53 scale, maybe. I'll have to have a look at that. Huge, huge, but hugely expensive. So let's get flying first and <laughs> give all these a little fly before we start thinking about silly big ones. Okay, so we have got, uh, oh, with the prop, these are obviously the... Um, reducers or something for the props the, you know if the props too big or too small you can put these little things in so you get some of those which is pretty cool I suppose we have got two fuel tanks big old fuel tanks um, sometimes it affects the way the plane flies and sometimes it doesn't um, watched a couple of videos recently that the plane totally changed but when you take the ordnance off and the, and the, and the tanks but you got to have a look in scale, haven't you? You know, and they would have had these on. So I'm going to stick them on. They look like little floaty planes or something. You know, put your own little wings in there, a little propeller. Honestly, I'm okay on this lockdown. I am not gone crazy just yet. Possibility, I might. But I've got plenty of stuff to do in the hangar. And if you're keeping me company, that really means the world to me. In fact, we are up to 143, I think, subscribers. Thanks guys and girls, um, you know, it means the world to me, subscribe, you don't have to push the bell, you don't have to be notified unless you want to of course, um, but I know for a fact that next week, um, I'm just working out now the final details, next week, uh, during the week, uh, we're going to have a live session, it be live streaming, um, because a, a lot of the guys and girls are in America, um, I'm going to probably have to do it at um, uh, a decent time, um, I don't know yet. I've got to figure out the time zones because uh, I know the clocks go forward or back for the UK and Europe or for everybody really I think uh, the clocks change don't they this month into this month so I'll probably I'll probably I'll, let me think about that but if you join the forum I can let you know so we have got I'm not going to take this out of the bag we have got the towel so I'm going to take it out of the bag come on got to take it I'll put it back in the bag um, but this, I will be building this. This will be the next video, probably, maybe. I mean, I have just to quickly show you on the Zod. If you've been watching my videos, I have completed the the wing. You know, put the electronics in and the uh, the two aerial slits. That's all there. Yeah, that's the Zod. So I have been doing stuff. I mean, I said to you that I wasn't going to be putting that on video. So, but I can answer any questions. So once again, super, ah, oh, look at that. I thought they had, I saw this on a Spitfire. Now, um, as you might know, and if you go on the fame, my Facebook, um, you'll see pictures of me in a real Spitfire, um, which was my wife's uh, present to me, and it was uh, a dream come true to sit in a Spitfire. A fat git like me actually fitted in it still. And uh, something I didn't realize that they have like a mini, a mini rudder on the Spitfire as well. I mean, we know this has got the Rolls-Royce Spitfire engine in, in the Mustang and P51, um, but they also, you know, it's just sort of like there's a lot of similarities that you see on the Mustang Spitfire, but that obviously is not real, it's just fake. But uh, yeah, that's nice, you've got a bit of plastic in there, a bit of plastic in there, a bit of plastic in there. That's just so, that is butter. They're, they're, they're you know, Free Wings, uh, uh, what do you call it? Hinges are just 
I don't know what they do use, but it's just like, honestly, it's like butter. You wouldn't know there's a hinge there. Really, really well made. The, 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 it's solid as well. Absolutely, it's, it's nice. I can't stop going on about it because it's just sexy. Once again, all sprayed. The numbers are decals, obviously. That would have been a pain in the arse trying to paint them, wouldn't it? Would have been nice if it was a little light at the back there, like the Spitfire. In fact, I have got one. Here you go, look at this. This is a, a little treat. This is the old fashioned paper, wax paper. Look at this, and it's a towel light lens, one or blue, of a Spitfire. A hurricane, I think, the blue one. They did, oh, there'll be another video about that, but this is this is a, off a real stock from a Spitfire in a wax thing. Awesome. So, they had one here as well, same as Spitfire. But, you know, it'd be nice if they had the LED. Butter. Okay, let's put that back in. <laughs> I said I'm going to take it out and I want it back in. I don't put it back in. I'm going to put it back in because I've got to stack these up. But uh, I will start building it. Probably uh, because obviously I'm, I'm working from home now. You know, I, I, it's not I don't have to travel home. So uh, I can uh, get in the hangar. Plus there's some 3D printing. I've been designing some files. I need to... Put in the 3D printer. No, it's not going back because it's in plastic. It's because to keep the dust. So, what have we got else here? We've got a empty bag that we've done. There's nothing up there. There's nothing up there. There's some random long ladies here. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, hello there. Look at that. All the way from China, that is. So, she's got brown hair, but looks like she's got some red roots. <laughs> hello, China. Right, so we've got our bag of bits, bag of bits, bag of bits. Now, without getting them in, um, let's have a quick read. We've got uh, four screws, which are, well, they've got just 16 on it, four screws at 10. You've got a bill, ball buckle, a 1.5 millimeter, a ball buckle. What the hell is a ball buckle? Must be what the, the uh, yeah, on the, on the rods, ball buckle. Hmm. Uh, and then, one of my favourite words, clevis. Clevis. We like clevis, yes we do. Clevis, we've got one of those. We've got two Y wires at 200 mil. We've got th three, no, one to three, sorry. That was one to two. One to three, 150 millimeter Y wire. Cabin door sequencer. So it comes with a sequencer as well. That's pretty cool, three wing sequencer. There they are, yes. There we go. LED um, control board, main fixed wing part front, main fixed wing part back. That's obviously where the wing sits on the fuselage. Run a fixed part up. God knows. Drop tank F, drop tank B, and antenna. No screwdriver. Why do I want a screwdriver? Because I don't know. Because I do. I like it. Let's get that. Over. Let's have a look at that sequences. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I've got some other bits and pieces that I want to show you, which I'll probably be able to do a video of, of stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of the uh, RC, RC Geek? RC Geek, I think it is. I put a little sequencer of him that he made um, that enables you to do turrets and stuff and to move at random times. And I thought, well, I'll get one now because I will want one then eventually. But there's lots of little ditty stuff that I've got. I've got to show you, which is really cool. There's a landing gear sequencer and a light control from Free Wing. There you go. You just about see that. Little two little boxes. How cool is that that they included all that as well? I suppose they would do really, but it's still cool. Multifunctional. So obviously I am gonna have to look into these because maybe we need to there's a way of programming them. We'll see. We shall see. Now the reason I didn't want to really open this bag is because I will lose bits. I'm not careful. So I'll just put that standing up on there. It's time. Yes it is. It's time. I showed you the fuselage. 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 Can never say that word properly. The body of the plane. Oh yeah.
well yeah look at that look at that oh yeah now let's put this over here so we can have a good look at this plane that is pretty cool pretty pretty cool pretty cool I mean okay there's a uh, uh, the, the, I mean the, the, the screen on here, okay the screen's not the best for some reason, it looks a bit not scratched but it's not as you expect it be for, for the amount that uh, you spend on it. The, the canopy, now I think the canopy's loose, now for a reason I believe, in fact I know there is, because I can see it, the canopy comes back on a servo, that's why it was, it's a bit concerning that that's, uh, I don't know, I mean obviously the airflow would probably keep that down, but the canopy comes back, um, we'll, we'll look into this when we're building it, but you've got a, a nice, uh, nice dials in there, Free wing done a lovely job there, lovely, lovely job, so let's take a bit of note, shall we, so we've got, as you can see, um, on here we've got the uh, flaps, at the back, this is pretty heavy the front, so we've got the rear flaps because, and you can just see the tail section wheel, it is metal, the wheels are a rubber, yeah they smell like rubber, so that it looks like it's got a steering on that as well but we'll check that out if it is, there's that lovely lovely, look at the, the bottom end of the Mustang that's so iconic and you know they've even done like a scale, oh, see look there you go look there's the there's the audio sits in there we'll have to have a look so that that there is is the speaker I don't know if you can see that I hope you can I can't see because I'm blind as a bat wow I wonder if they've accidentally put a speaker in there and forgotten about it you never know but we can open that up but that's where the speaker so it already comes with free wing of thought of everything I mean they thought oh you know, that, that is such a huge that would sound awesome I'm getting excited they've even got like you know a lot of planes you've got like the fake holes at the back that lose the scale of it really they've got a scoop at the back I presumably that's where the air comes out anyway I could be lying but there's no other air holes at the back so that must be well designed the inside looks absolutely great it looks really nice. Oh, you got a speaker at the front as well, so I, I don't know what all that's about. We'll have to have a look at the instructions. The old crow. I mean, there's a bit of glue on here. I'm not going to moan about that. It's got some lovely, lovely, lovely decals. I mean, it's, uh, I'm probably in the wrong shot here for it. But uh, look at that. Look at that nose. I bet that engine's massive. Who's on there? That's really weird actually, I, I, I thought I was a... Uh, I didn't know, I mean it's really weird. <laughs> Inside you've got a flight line strap, battery strap. A free wing and flight line the same? I, I don't know. I don't know, really don't know. It's got a huge, huge hobby wing I'm trying to see what that size it is, ESC, but I can't see it, but we'll have to have a look at that. Lovely, lovely room for battery. See that flight line strap? In fact, I can see in the bottom of here. i tell you what, I mean, you can see that there isn't a speaker at the front there. Um, but there's plenty, plenty, plenty of room for all the electronics. I mean, where we're going to put them, I don't know. It's going to be exciting to where I put this, but you know I like to be a bit you know, a bit uh, a bit particular about my electronics. I like to get to it. I like it not just to be floating around in the plane. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's have a look at uh, some, I mean, uh, I don't know. Let me just have a look at this, hang on. Yeah, that's nice and magnetic. It's got the lovely little pull, pull thing that I put on my own planes, I haven't got it. Mr. Pilot, how you doing? You're looking all right? Yeah, you're looking good. I think we have a lot of fun building this and this is huge this was bigger than I thought it would be okay I had to stop it there because um, 
I don't know, my camera said I couldn't record anymore. Random. <laughs> right, so we're not talking about the Iron House. We're talking about the Old Crow, which is this little lover here. So the wingspan, as we said, is like 55 inches, is, which is 1 meter 410 millimeters. Let's bring that up here. <coughs> Excuse me. The fuselage length is 1.2 meters, um, and that is 47.24 inches. She's a big girl. Flying weight is 91 ounces, 91.7 ounces, or uh, 2,600 grams. The thrust is 3,500 grams. Now that is a big ratio in my book. That is awesome. Um, but is that in uh, ounces? That's 123.5 ounces, so she's fast. Uh, wing loading, 86 grams. DM, not sure what that means. <coughs> um, servo, 17 gram MG servo, six of them. And nine gram servos, three of them. Okay. Oh, it's an 80 amp brushless ESC with a motor of 4258 to 580 kV. Not bad. It's a 4S at 35C, so that's a, it's a nice way at the front. So I'm not sure why they've got the speaker port at the front as well. Um, we'd have to look at the CG for that, I'm not sure. Um, and the propeller is a two blade 16 by 10 yeah so it's not a three blade uh, maybe I'm thinking of the iron arse <laughs> iron arse <laughs> who makes up these names iron arse was a floor four bladey propeller that's what I meant I thought it was a four blade not a three blade but uh, the old crow is uh, with a bit of uh, glue on the front there which is annoying me sorry is a two wing so it's a nice old plane it really, really is. But uh, it's got pictures. It's got, I think it's a one man user manual. It's the one user manual. See, on the, on the front there is the iron arse, you see. There you go. With the four props. So they must use uh, one, uh, one, uh, spit it out, Chris. One manual for both, probably. I don't know. We'll have a look. A bit hot in here. <coughs> So there you go, the unboxing of the Mustang P51 Old Crow, not the Iron Arse, the Old Crow. So um, I'll go. Uh, this is another Warbird that I want. I love Warbirds. I think they're fantastic, and this looks really, really awesome. It looks like it's got a canopy retract, which is just freaking awesome. You know, you're just landing and you pull back the back canopy. How scale is that? I mean, if you're into scale, and, and which I am, uh, the nearest thing I can do to fly a plane. If I could fly the real one of this, I would be. But I think I'm too heavy. I think we, you know, we'd have to drop some tanks. <laughs> have a two-minute flight, maybe. I don't know. But this is the closest thing for me. Um, yes, I can appreciate everyone out there that is so annoying that we can't even get out flying. Um, you know, um, my clubs have said no flying um, because of all this stuff that's going about. So until the next video, um, keep safe, please. Uh, keep sim flying. Uh, if you can fly in your back garden, you've got like an acre or two acres, then keep flying. Uh, but most of all, have fun and keep saying in these rough, rough times. But, uh, and don't forget to look at the forum. Please join the forum. You know, it's two seconds, you know, you can say what you want. Uh, it is still growing. I've only just got it up the other day. Misses. <laughs> so, hey. so, anyway, see you later. Have fun and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.